What is going on today guys? Welcome back to another video. It is a absolutely beautiful day and it is a beautiful day to take down some trees and that is what we are going to be doing today. Uh, my parents are actually in town so my pops is going to help me take down some trees. I believe in the first part of this video Allie got all of the shutters back on the house so uh, right over there as you can see we got all of the uh, uh, the gray shutters that we painted. Pressure washing is done, shutters are done so we are just going to continue on. Oh boy, hey you are, you are all the way up in there. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you want to tie a rope off to that one? I didn't think he was going to get all monkey and climb uh, climb all the way up uh, up there. So uh, if you guys remember me talking, uh, we're going to be taking down these trees, uh, some trees right in here, some ones over here. Uh, you know, I don't know if you guys will actually ever see my mom. She uh, she probably a little more camera shy, but uh, she is not she is not for taking these trees down. But that that doesn't mean that doesn't mean Greg's not. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing. Stay tuned. Drop some trees.
here we are towards the end of the day just wrapping up the only tree we don't have down is this behemoth right here we're saving that guy for first thing in the morning but we have got all the rest of the trees down pops over there making a uh we're making frank the forklifts uh, one attachment to move uh, some stuff around for tomorrow uh, because tomorrow we're getting the chipper. The goal for today was really just to drop everything, get everything down on the ground, and then tomorrow with the chipper, uh, chip all of this stuff up. But as you can see, it opened this area up quite a bit. We are going to go back with something a little bit more low profile so that's still a little bit hidden uh, but still has a good view from the window so looks this area looks a little bare right now but uh haha, bear with us we will uh we'll fill that back in but we're gonna go ahead and chop these down a little bit right here because everything just is, is overgrown so got those trees down this tree down we did manage to take out a bush in the, in the in the meantime over here and then this tree over here which was in the way of the uh way of the porch but man it's a long day long day getting everything down tomorrow we'll get everything cleaned up and like i said we're gonna make frank the forklifts attachment because i got sawyer's dump trailer over there so we're gonna try and ship everything into sawyer's dump trailer but instead of trying to hook up a truck or two and go back and forth uh we're just gonna use the forklift uh, to kind of move everything around and just bring the chipper around to all of the areas. That way it's a little bit easier. We don't have to drag anything anywhere. So that's the goal. You'll see it because I think we're going to do that in tomorrow and stay in the same video. I'm not going to break this stuff up. But uh, yeah, we'll show you guys exactly what we're going to do for the forklift attachment. That way we can move all of the trailers around all the time. I'm going to integrate, instead of just using a ball... Uh, we're gonna use an actual receiver tube because just in case something is a pin hole, a two and five sixteenths ball, this will help us actually just uh, move anything around all the time, no matter what it is. So I think that's where we're at. I don't know about you, you guys probably have the same way, but my, my dad is a machine. My dad is a machine. Good luck trying to keep up with him. I am beat. He's like, all right, you starting a forklift attachment? I'm like, I guess so. guys here we go biggest tree on the property coming down right meow
Alrighty guys, it has been a long, long, long two days. I don't even know where to start. I don't even know where Allie left off. Um, we just got back from jumping in the pool because we have been hustling for the last two days, all day, seven to seven or nine. Uh, we got the forklift attachment done last night. Uh, everything came out good. Used the heck out of it today. Uh, moving the wood chipper and uh, Sawyer's dump trailer around um, but worked flawlessly moved everything around really really nicely and uh, yeah we've got uh, we've got pretty much everything everything that could fit in that small wood chipper we have got everything in there so drop this big tree this morning this was huge I mean huge like you just you don't realize how much work taking down this big tree even was, man. It just, it, it, it about killed my dad, to be honest. It about killed my dad. He's cramping up. Uh, but, man, I'm, uh, I'm about shot. Uh, man, my voice is, like, completely gone. But uh, it's definitely going to transform the look. So, again, got that down, got that chipped, got that other one in the back. And then these are completely down. Um, all of this stuff pretty much won't fit in the chipper, so we're gonna just make that into like log size and probably post it on some marketplace and see if somebody wants some wood. Otherwise, we'll go put it in the dump and pay to get rid of it. But I'm walking out here to the road to kind of give you a little bit more of a perspective. Perspective? Is that the right word? I think so. Of the house. So now you can see super clear 
Again, I think the only questionable area is the trees that we took out right here. Um, and the fact that this is kind of doesn't have any windows over here. Um, we're going to put something back. And again, we're going to trim these down a little bit more uh, just to kind of like window height. But that is uh, that's about it. Let me go show you guys the, uh, the forklift attachment. I think it turned out pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie. Pretty sweet. Uh, but uh, doing all of this work, granted, while it just ate some serious time and we still have, we still got all of that to do and clean up, um, you know, I did get a quote for all of this work. Uh, I think it was about $4,500. So uh, not bad for renting a wood chipper for about $200. And um, yeah, so a lot of, a lot of hard work, but uh, we still have to do our second 75 hard workout too. Uh, but here it is. Here is this baby. Looks good. We got some uh, tighteners on the bottom there. Spin in some all thread, welded some nuts on the bottom. That way it doesn't go anywhere, doesn't slide back and forth. And uh, we were jarring it around pretty good and did not have any issues with it. And then put a receiver tube that way if we got something, I was actually really kind of worried like if we got something that would have had like a pinnel hitch on it, we could go ahead and switch to a pinnel hook. And then that one, I don't really use that hitch anymore. So that works perfect for just leaving that thing right on there for all of the ball sizes. But boys, I believe that's it. I apologize if there was not a whole lot of B-roll footage, montage footage, but Allie, me, and my dad were just putting in some serious work. I can't even talk right now. My legs are cramping up. Whew, boys. But anyway, guys, that is, uh, that is a wrap for this video. Don't be afraid of a little hard work. Just uh, nothing to it, but to do it. Uh, but that's it boys i will see you guys in the next video hopefully on the first channel we will be back on some truck projects here very very soon thank you guys for all of your support we really appreciate it and there'll probably be more reagan there probably wasn't a whole lot of reagan in this video but that's it guys i'll see you guys in the next one see ya subscribe if you have not already hit the like button just hit the you got to do it hit the like button i'll see you guys